One of the fans of this channel sent me a challenge. He said, how about trying to cut a record onto a floppy disk? A floppy diskette. Well, I didn't want to go for the 5 inch ones, so I went ahead and ordered some on eBay that are the 8 inch ones. So this is an 8 inch, very vintage floppy disk from probably the 70s in a sleeve. So the question is, could we cut a record on one of these? Could we just like, you know, throw it there on the platter and... No, we probably should take it out of the, uh, out of the sleeve first. What do you think? All right, so the floppy disk, the 8-inch floppy disk is now on the turntable. The floppy disk itself has a little hole in it there. I didn't put that hole there, but I did put this one there. And ironically, a floppy disk has the um, exact same center as a 45 RPM record. So I have my 45 RPM adapter on there just for safekeeping. And let's go ahead and see what happens here. I'm going to put it, turn my radio up, turn the platter on, place the cutting head onto the record, and let's see what happens here. So our source is the built-in radio that this unit came with. If you haven't seen the front of my turntable cutter, I'll show it to you real, real quick there. There's the Montgomery Ward amplifier section there at the bottom, and I have a phone or a microphone jack type plug plugged into there, or an old school headphone plug, quarter inch jack, I guess it's called, quarter inch plug. So here we are cutting into this 8-inch floppy disk from the 1970s. And soon we will know whether or not those folks had something on their hands they didn't know they had, which is a magnetic medium as well as a medium that they could have cut records into. And again, the tape is on the outside to just kind of keep it all together. I'm hearing a lot of surface noise coming back from that cutter, so we very well could um, hear a lot of noise. All right, let's go ahead and turn it off there. We're going to switch back from radio to phono. There we go. So isn't that ironic? We ended up with a couple of public service announcements as our test material. So there you go. It sort of works. Other than the fact that it has a ridiculous amount of, of uh, noise on the surface, we can actually cut a record into a floppy disk. Now this guy is really wrinkled up because I made one attempt before I started this video to cut a record. And uh, as it turned out, I didn't have the source turned on, so I ended up with this much blank material. But this side, yeah, we got something. So whoever wrote in and suggested that we make a recording on a floppy diskette, an 8-inch floppy diskette, thank you for that suggestion. And it was sort of a success. Please subscribe to my channel. Check it out. I've got some other materials that we try to cut records into. And you can leave a comment below, ask a question, or you can uh, you can subscribe. 
I think I said that already. All right, thanks for watching.